This is a quick orientation video to demonstrate some of the features in the story maps that students are going to use in lesson two. The first story map that they're going to use is going to show them where tsunamis happen around the world. Uh, so the first thing that students really need to pay attention to when they load this story map is just the general pattern and where they happen around the world, such as close to coastlines or along the Pacific, the coastline of the Pacific Ocean and maybe a little bit around Europe. Um, things that they might notice are where they don't occur. Like maybe there's not really many tsunamis in the Atlantic Ocean compared to the Pacific Ocean. So these are all good patterns for students to pull out of the story map. Um, so they'll first look at this first map. They can turn the legend on, which gives them additional information uh, that they'll explore a little bit more in this lesson, and that is the causes of these tsunamis. So black dots are earthquakes, orange squares are landslides, and purple stars are volcanoes. And these are the events, the geologic processes that cause tsunamis to form. And students are gonna explore these ideas throughout lesson two and three. So it's not important for them to know the mechanism around how tsunamis form yet. They will learn that in lesson three. Right now, they're just gonna notice patterns in the tsunami data. So they can actually drill down and look at just earthquakes and where tsunamis form that are caused by earthquakes versus volcanic eruptions and landslides. And one of the big things that they'll notice here that's a really important idea for them to bring out is earthquakes cause, seem to cause the most tsunamis to form compared to volcanic eruptions and landslides. And so they might have some new questions around why that might be the case. The next map that they'll look at actually lets students drill in to more data around uh, earthquakes and then earthquakes that cause tsunamis. So if you've done the Everest unit, students might be familiar with looking at a lot of earthquake data, as you'll see on this swipe map. These orange dots on the left on the map on the left side of the swipe bar, the orange dots indicate all recent earthquakes around the world. And this also gives students the type of plate boundaries as well because this is kind of an important idea to pull out for tsunamis. Uh, so students will explore this map and notice, hmm, this looks like a pattern I've seen before if they've done Everest. And wow, earthquakes occur along plate boundaries. Um, but, I think I zoomed out just a little too far, but now, if you want to look at tsunamis and where earthquakes that cause tsunamis happen, the pattern changes just a little bit for students. And so if they just want to look at like the Pacific Ocean, they're like, oh, wow, a lot of earthquakes happen in the Pacific Ocean, and a lot of those earthquakes make tsunamis to form. And wow, a lot of those tsunamis occur on that red line, but we don't get too many tsunamis on the yellow line. So what does that mean? and they'll start noticing patterns around uh, what kinds of earthquakes might cause tsunamis. So this swipe map will give them more information that should lead to some additional questions about the types of earthquakes that could possibly cause tsunamis to form. All of this data analysis is done in service of trying to figure out can we narrow down our predictions about where tsunamis occur in the world so we know which communities are at risk. So these maps have different options. The, the first map allows students to pull down the legend and they can zoom in and out. If you zoom too far out, it, um, this is about as far out as you can get. And then you can zoom in and they can zoom into the United States and look really closely if they want. They can filter data by clicking on these links. On the swipe map, the main feature is the swipe bar to let them see all recent earthquakes on one side and then earthquakes that cause tsunami on the other side. And then the legend is displayed here for them so that they can reference what the different symbols mean.